Hello, loveys! Welcome back to my channel, Misty Journals. Today we're going to be journaling in my recipe journal. I'm so excited. This is the first in this new series that I really want to do. And that is making a recipe and journaling it as well. So you guys are going to actually get to see the recipe being made and then how I'm going to put it in my recipe journal. I'm very excited about it. So over New Year's, my daughter begged me to make um, buffalo dip. So it was my very first time. So I got the recipe and I made it and they absolutely loved it. I couldn't have any because I'm dealing with some stomach problems, but um, they said it was delicious. So I'm just going to take their word for it. <laughs> and because they loved it so much, I definitely want to keep the recipe to make for later dates. So I have it kind of all sketched out and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is the recipe itself will be down in um, the Dropbox so that you guys can have it yourself. And then what I did that day is I took pictures of each step. And then at the end, I did a live video or however you want to call it, a video of um, it fully cooked and me serving it up. So as we go through, I will put in the little clippets of pictures and the end result of the buffalo dip. So what I'm probably going to do is probably speed this up because this I know is going to take me some time. It speed this up. I'll add the pictures in. I'll probably do a little bit of a voiceover and add some music. But um, let's get this in my recipe book. I'm very excited. And don't worry, guys, if you love buffalo dip, my family said it was the best they ever had. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, the recipe will be down in the Dropbox. So <laughs> before we get started, this was my best representation of a buffalo. So when I draw him. Don't laugh at me, okay? Because I thought it'd be cute, buffalo dip. Because <laughs> I'm dip. But anyways, let's get this going. It, it's threatening to rain. So um, I'm hoping that I don't lose a ton of light. It's like the best, it's supposed to be like the best part of the day. And uh, I'm going to turn my light on to see if that helps. Okay, I hope that helps a little because it's looking really gray. But anyways, let's do this. Okay, loveys, now that we have the buffalo dip drawn, these are the ingredients that you're going to need to start it. You're going to need canned chicken, Frank's red hot sauce, mild cheddar cheese, ranch, Philadelphia cream cheese, and your favorite kind of tortilla chip. Ours happens to be scoops. And let's move on from there. So the first step is to set your crock pot or your Instapot to two hours and put two bricks of softened cream cheese down in there as a start. Mm -hmm. I think that's a pretty good basis, don't you? Step number two is to get two cans of chicken in your slow cooker. I personally drained one and added the juice of the other because we like our dip 
a little more, I don't know if the right word is watery than thick. So if you like it thick, thick, then I would drain both cans. But I think there was a great balance between adding one can drained and one can not. I think it worked out great. Okay, so your next step is to add a half a cup of Red Frank's hot sauce and one cup of ranch. And of course I used Hidden Valley because there is no other ranch other than Hidden Valley, especially if you want it to taste good. So if you like it a little bit more spicy, which my family is not big on spice, so if you like super mild, then a half cup of Frank's will work. If you like it more spicy, then do a full cup of Frank's. Taste it to your tasting. Us, we're more mild, so a half a cup worked great. Okay, and your last ingredients here is a full bag of 12 ounce sharp cheddar cheese. Um, the, re my, the original recipe that I pulled off of Pinterest only said a half a bag, but I was like, mm, no, we like ours really cheesy. So I added the full bag of 12, inch, 12 ounce sharp cheddar. If you don't like sharp because it's too pungent, then of course feel free to use mild. And then the last little thing there that I have that's not drawn in yet is just the bag of Tostitos. And of course we used scoops because you know there is chunks of chicken in it and I thought the scoops worked best. But if you like a different kind of you know, tortilla chip, um, it also said on there, serve it alongside with crackers, whatever you like, but the scoops, they worked great. This is what it looked like all stirred up. Um, I put it in my Instapot and I set it for slow cook for two hours But if you do have an instapot and you want it instant <laughs> Which is the great thing about instapots then I would put that on pressure cooker for only 10 minutes because it is dip and your chicken is already cooked, but It smelled so good and the slow cook gave it to according to them a great texture and a great great flavor so my husband, no lie, had five plates of that. My daughter, <laughs> she's, she wants more. She's asking me to make it again. So according to my family, they said it was really, really good. So now we're just going to bring some color to the page, and then I will show you what it looked like after two hours in the Instapot on Slow Cook. Okay, lovies, so the last step that I'm going to do to my page here is add a little picture that I took to finish off my spread. And now I'm gonna show you what the dip looked like. Ah, 
it looks very creamy I think is the word that I was looking for you earlier when I said you know if you like it thicker only use um, don't drain both cans of chicken if you like it creamy like that then I would keep the juice of one can and when you serve it up man I served it up all pretty <laughs> and they ate it up so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this little make it and jot it video um, I had a lot of fun I hope to do a few more of these and share some more of my awesome recipes with you and I love that I get to put all these recipes in a little book that I probably can pass on to my daughter when she gets married and she'll have all of my family recipes so thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I had a lot of fun. And as always, stay creative and journal what you love.